Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Welcome Thank to you the for having Show. Us. Friday. It is fabulous Friday. Thank Cheers. Thank We're having you. a bit of verve this afternoon yes. because uh, I know how much you ladies love your champagne. Absolutely. And wine. Thank you. Uh, let's kick straight into it because it's going to be a, a big, fun-filled episode. <laughs> I can just feel it in my waters. Um, it's been a pretty explosive uh, season already. I mean, we're already halfway, halfway, yet. Oh, yeah. halfway <laughs> through and I was like, whoa. Um, is it everything that you expected when you were going into this show? For me, yes, because mm. the Lisa you see on television is the Lisa that is a wife, is a friend, is a mother, is a businesswoman. Like, I, there is not, it's not that I'm not multifaceted, but I don't pretend to be something that I'm not. Mm. Um, and, you know, occasionally I fuck up, but I always own it. Yeah. Um, so I, I was very pleased. I, I thought it was a very accurate portrayal. Mm. I must say that I agree with um, Lisa. I think that they've done a really fair job of portraying the women exactly how we are. Have they heightened certain parts of our personality? Absolutely. Have they left certain things out? With me, I feel they have. Mm. But I have so many layers to my personality. They almost had to do that. Like they almost had to dissect me because they didn't want to confuse the viewer. Mm. So for me, when I look back, I wish they had almost shown a little bit more of my sensitive side. The fact that I do have empathy, that I'm the first person to apologize, that I am a kind person. And I feel that kind of got lost mm. in the editing because we had filmed a lot of moments with Maddie where I apologize, moments where I've reached out to Lisa and, you know, they didn't show these, these right, I guess for the sake of brevity and levity, and look, they want drama. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's much more interesting um, looking at Athena and Lisa, the nutcases, as opposed <laughs> to, you know, Athena and Lisa, the very good friends. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. What were some of the biggest challenges doing this show? For me, I think it was trying to, ha you know, still run um, a high profile, very demanding corporate career and juggle that with the filming demands and being a mum. Mm. Uh, and... Yeah, I was mentally and physically exhausted by the end of it. Yeah, I just had major spinal surgery, so I wasn't in a good place physically. Um, you've seen that. You know, my marriage is in the gutter. <laughs> uh, it certainly was six months ago. Well, we've pulled um, it out now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're working on that. But uh, yeah, so it was. Um, I I stupidly went into the show thinking, okay, this is going to be distract me from the problems I'm having with David. Yeah. All it did was magnify them and then throw it back in my face, mm. but in a good way. It was like a mirror into okay, well, maybe, maybe I'm not the victim. Maybe you know, I am being a bit of a bitch. Um, you know, maybe I am contributing um, to the problems we're experiencing in our marriage. Mm. And I think if we hadn't done the show, we would have still been at that impasse. Mm. This was the trigger for us to go and get help. Yeah, because that's what a lot of people have sort of said over, you know, we've, I think we've only seen five, four, e four, four episodes, four. Uh, fifth coming up this Sunday. But um, one of the biggest questions is that you are so open and so brutal and honest about your relationship with David in the show. Um, how is Dave, how, did, did, how was he going into this? Not, did he know that this was going to come out? Well, he had seen the episodes prior to them going mm -hmm. to Eddie. Look, he wasn't happy. But he also knows, and, the, and one of the reasons he loves me is that I am someone who's extremely honest. I wear my heart on my sleeve mm -hmm. um, and I'm not going to hold back. Yeah. Um, you know, being filled with champagne also yeah. helps. <laughs> <laughs> how did you both, I mean, because you are both open and honest and real women, but how did you cope then with all the bitchingness that went on in the show with the other women? But there, there was no real bitchiness in the sense, they just, that for me, mm. I was completely isolated. Oh, and and I isolated so, was, me. so was Lisa. They, there was no discussion. So for me, when, when Nicole is questioning me on the veranda about knowing her children's name, mm. They had never even wanted to have a conversation with me. Every time I would walk up to them to talk to them, they would walk off. Mm. So it wasn't as if I hadn't initiated a conversation, but I can't force someone to have a conversation with me if Absolutely. they're not interested. And it's funny because I, in, the so, in social media in particular, people are saying, you know, Lisa is this alpha female. I'm not, well, I am an alpha female, but like I, I went on the show thinking but, that I would provide light, light comedic relief. But when I saw them target and attack Athena, mm. that's when, you know, I guess my conscience um, stepped in and went, you know, this girl needs defending, this girl needs looking after. You know, I mean, this was like year nine racism. Chrissy say, oh, you're a Greeky Greek. Like, uh, who says that? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I was baffled and being poked fun at about mm. my dress choices. 
by women who were mature and had their own personal style. Yeah. And to me, I think they look great. They, they suit the clothes they wear and I think it's an extension Absolutely. of who they are. Yeah, it's yeah. so year 12, yeah. like, yeah. So high school. So so I mean, I, I was so sick of seeing Chrissy's labia, like with those ridiculously short dresses by the end of it, but I never said anything. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm saying it now. <laughs> what do you think the show has taught you about yourselves, um, I guess, and so how you've much. dealt with women, so the, that, that type of women on the show? For me, I, I, even though I have female friends, and Athena is you know, one of my, my very best female friends, I don't have groups of female friends. So that group dynamic mm -hmm. where you saw these women posturing for the alpha female position, I just thought it was hilarious because I don't really give a shit what anyone thinks about me. Um, and I don't need to be the alpha female. I don't need to be Chrissy Marsh dancing on a table trying to dry hump a waiter, <laughs> you know, going, taxi, every time someone smashes a glass. Yes. So, you know, to mm -hmm. me, that's, that's ridiculous. Um, and I can't remember where I was going with that. <laughs> so it was how did these women, like... Uh, what did we learn about ourselves? What did we learn about ourselves? Um, and what did they teach us? I learned that I'm pretty funny. Yeah, but <laughs> you're intelligent. <laughs> to be funny, you have to be smart. And, and that was frustrating. So when, you, when, you're, when you're talking to someone who doesn't given. know who Chewbacca is, who doesn't know who Malcolm X oh, yeah. is, how can like, not like, it's, it's just like, really? Like, you know, and, and I think I said, you know, this girl has a room temperature, uh, an IQ of room temperature. Mm, yeah. Very frustrating. Yeah, for me it was it was almost like frustrating. I was really frustrated and annoyed that they that I have a group of female friends. They've been my friends for twenty years. I met them when my, my children went to preschool and they're very successful. They run, you know, empires and they would never be in front of a camera, they would never seek out the media. They've, they're amazing women, you, you've yeah, yeah. heard about oh, them. Oh, I've met a couple of them. And I, I'm the youngest one in the group. Mm -hmm. They're all in their 50s now. I'm, oh, wow. I'm the young friend because I had my kids really young. Yeah, yeah. And they're so inspirational. They're so incredible. And they're serious women, business women, who yeah. um, would never have the need or the want to be on a reality show. But mm. they accepted that I wanted to do this and they've supported me. But the interesting thing was that I used them as a gauge when I would look at my friends that they're so um, inspirational and they're normal mm. women and so down to earth. I thought, well, if they've chosen me to be their friend and I've never embarrassed them or they've never humiliated me mm. and there's never been an event like what I've lived with these women, I knew that I was a decent person mm. because I was using these incredible women as my gauge. Mm. That, that was funny, actually. I was accused of being an attention seeker, particularly in that episode where we were on the Wit Sundays. You know, Chrissy was saying she's just doing it for attention. The last thing I wanted on that trip was attention. I didn't want to talk about my marriage problems. I hadn't mentioned it to anyone but Victoria. Victoria, of course, opens up um, and spills the beans to everyone the first night. That was so awkward. I can um, see that. And mm. then, you know, we went out in the boat. I had that near drowning incident. Mm. I was really, really shaken. And um, and then for them to laugh and mock me. Look, I look. I get that the uh, morbidly obese guy on the kayak towing a swan is funny. <laughs> While I was drowning, I thought that was hilarious. But um, yeah, to be laughed at and to be mocked, I needed to get off the boat. The last mm. thing I wanted was attention. And if I wanted attention, I would have stayed on the boat. I would have spilled the beans to all of them. Would have made it all about me. Mm. But I left. I, I just couldn't. It was such a toxic environment. Mm. I had to leave. Mm. Looking back over the season, would there be anything that you would do or say differently? I don't think so. No, no. I, don't, I have no regrets because as I said, I've got to take the good and the bad. And for me, I know consciously I've been my 100% self. Yep. And w I can only say that there's so much more to me that the viewers need to keep watching mm. because they will see eventually what Athena X is really about mm. because you can't hide. No. The camera will eventually reveal everything. Mm. Interesting, everything. The, the most vicious fight in the entire series is between... <gasps> really? Do but, tell. I, well, I can't go too much into it, but only to say that, you see, I really didn't get stuck into the other girls because I didn't care about them. They were insignificant. Um, but Athena and I had a misunderstanding and I was very upset because I thought she'd let me down. And but I wasn't was, listening. I wasn't listening to what she was saying. I was on my own tangent. Yeah, and, but it frustrated her and I was so hurt because I love her so much that there is... Oh, it's pretty vitriolic. It's pretty violent, actually. I know, but it actually shows how real we are. Yeah, that's that true. That we we actually even had the courage to have that argument. I was like encouraged. Sisters. I was so angry. Like, like sisters. Like that. sisters. Like yeah. sisters. You know, like when your sister, you feel that 
your sister isn't listening to you yep. or she's misunderstood. I, I basically felt that Lisa was trying to use me as her scapegoat and I wasn't listening to what she was saying. Mm. Mm. And all I needed to say is, Lisa, I'm sorry, you're right. And I was just on my own little tangent. Mm. But we, I mean, it, it was quickly resolved too. And the nice thing about Athena is that, you know, I can vent at her, she can vent at me. And a little bit of Chinese food helped too. A little bit of Chinese food helped too. It was your shout. Um, where, uh, and she I, ordered like crazy. She ordered everything. She even ordered the lobster. Lobster, lobster, lobster. But I mean, that's the beauty of a friendship with someone who is real like Athena yeah. that, you know, you can forgive and forget and move on. Mm, and I think, it, I think it was good just to, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, to vent. Yeah. Was there anything on the show that was... Uh, filmed but that didn't make it to yeah, the series. Yeah, a, so a, lot of, a lot of me apologising and, mm. and, and my good bits mm. never made the show. Mm. Me singing back up to Melissa Counts in the studio. <laughs> no, seriously, I've got an awesome voice. Should I sing now? <laughs> if you want to wait till later, hands off my detonator. No, you actually it. sound better than her. <laughs> oh yeah, my God. No. <laughs> I don't use auto tune either. <laughs> I'm going to get crucified for that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, is there anything that you did or said on the series that you regret? Oh, calling my son a dickhead probably wasn't my finest <laughs> no, moment. Yeah, I do but he, regret. But he's a dickhead. No. And look, and he started it. I don't care if you're four. Like, don't bring a knife to a gunfight, Bert. Mm. Mm. I, I regret that I took too much produ 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 production? Produ production direction, <laughs> producer direction. What, what, is that correct? Is there even yeah, a yeah. phrase? Like, I feel that I was very willing to go with the flow mm. and I didn't really... Um, practice a lot of mindfulness what my actions and my words I, I almost kind of took it too much as oh I'm making real life theater here mm. I'm the projection of society and let's show them yeah, yeah. and it was almost like I got really caught up in the whole excitement of being this melodramatic person which I am anyway in real life mm. but I amped it up mm. and and I didn't realize that when you are being filmed, everything is heightened anyway. Mm. Mm. I, did, I had no idea of that. So Where do you see uh, us two in the art gallery? Like, so when I, when, I go, when I watch certain things, I think, oh my God, I just thought I was just sitting there. I'm like... I know, like, I know, I know. It is. You're, you're absolutely right. It's so amplified. It's so it? amplified. Like when I push Matty, for example. It looks like you've on my side. I assaulted her. Really, she was just yapping in my face. I know she's sort of pushed away, but it actually looks like I've... You've gone nuts. Yeah. And that was mm -hmm. one thing I didn't realise. I didn't have to be so animated. Yes, and yeah. and you know, I guess it is what it is, and I've just got to you know accept it. But one one argument I do regret, or one kind of thing, was an incident I had with Nicole. I've, I have yeah. to I have to own that. Mm -hmm. You know, to me that was that was really where the producers did put their little finger and. I, maybe I should have said, you know what, I don't want to do it that mm. way. Mm. But I was the the willing one. Yep. I was willing to to, to do that. Yeah, and Nicole, at the end of the day, you know, she's a and she didn't deserve family, it. No, she's because a, she's a, she's, she's a lovely, she's yeah. a beautiful girl. She's so well raised. She's the best mum. Mm. Mm. Um, and yeah, at times I felt like I didn't know her anymore. Mm. Um, but I think it was just a misunderstanding. It's just so much going on. And, but I treasure my friendship with Nicole. And I've always said to Athena that Nicole is a very decent person. I'm very proud that I never threw wine on anyone. I was going to say, you, have, you know, yeah. yeah. I didn't, never, never, because it's the wine o'clock show. Have we had any wine throwing into I never threw, I never threw any wine. Glass anyone. throwing, my, like Lisa Rinna. No, well, we did have that, but it wasn't <laughs> Yes, we me. have had. I have never <laughs> thrown any wine. We've but had that you, moment. My, my uh, wine glass is perpetually look, empty. So. <laughs> look, if you see a fire... Or you see the devil yep. in front of you. What would you do? You'd throw water to yes. turn it I didn't off. I shit myself actually. So, I all I did was throw water to the devil. <laughs> Is she revealing a little something that's going to come up shortly? Oh gosh! Oh, oh my god! Oh, that devil! <laughs> 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 Who out of the housewives lacks a sense of humour? Victoria, I think. I. Victoria has a very dry sense of humour. I think she's very dry and she's very quick to be offended. I don't think it's a sense of humour. I think she's just a fucking bitch. And people think she's being funny, but no, she's, but I think she's a nasty pasty. 
And Chrissy certainly doesn't have a very developed sense of humour. It's, mm. it's very smutty. Do you remember Are You Being Served with Mrs. Slocum? Yes. It's yes. all about my pussy. Oh, my pussy was left out. Or, you know, like I said, someone smashed a it's wine glass. It's very childlike. It's very childish. Yes, taxi. taxi. Like, if I ever hear that again. <laughs> mm. I love a cute waiter. Like, mm. Oh, God. Ah. And, you know, I was saying to Athena, you know, the way she treated some of those wait staff, like, she was virtually dry humping them. If... It, 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 it was actually embarrassing. It was so, it like, was, so it was often embarrassing. We would I, I would feel awkward for her and him. We, we, yeah. it, it was. We were in the Singapore Airlines lounge in Singapore. Oh, that was and, the worst. And um, I actually had the manager of the lounge come over to me and say, you need to get your friend to behave yourself. And I said, well, she's actually a transsexual. Um, and um, that would be really That's homophobic true. of you if you did that. And he never questioned it. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so for me, you know, who I think has a very dark sense of humour and I think highly evolved like for someone like Chrissy was very frustrating but sorry the point I was going to make was that if if it, Chrissy was a man which you know I don't doubt but if she was mm. a man coming in and harassing a female female say a bloke came in and her, spoke to female white staff the way Chrissy had spoken to those male white staff she was a sexual harassment charge it is it, it would yeah. be it would be offensive and it and you're and absolutely right so uncomfortable mm. Mm. We're halfway through the season. What is left? I mean, there's been pretty pretty explosive first half. What's left oh, for the it's, second half? It's it's it's. I think we're only one third in actually. There's twelve. It's episodes. explosive 12, from yeah. now on. It's so All gloves explosive. Are off. All gloves are off. I, I'm I'm leaving the country. <laughs> I, I'm goodbye goodbye Australia. <laughs> Come and find me in a Greek island somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I had the seventy thousand dollar black and white diamond bracelet brand new and um, I went out one night, got on the Terps, <laughs> got, I don't know, just, again a, a trail of death and destruction. Um, I wake up the next morning and I think, shit, where's my bracelet? <laughs> I'm such a private person, I don't like having people in and out of my house. Yeah, I'm going to my, home, my home is really my temple mm. and yes I've invited the cameras in yep. for X amount of time but I actually feel really uncomfortable when Coming anybody in comes into my home and they're in my space. We're having a lot of sex, um, none of it with each other but no, 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 no we're, 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 I think we're, we're getting to a good place yeah. that um, we both understand where we failed in the marriage and where um, where things went awry. It's not like I have special powers mm. or anything. But you have a cape uh, for uh, it. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I pretend I'm Superwoman, <laughs> Superman. But the thing is, I feel that everybody has the ability to do this. It's not. I'm not trying to make myself look special or separate myself from anybody. I'm just. I'm just tapping into energy.